All right, man, I got to ask you a question. Is Opie okay? No, is the answer. Well, look, I know everyone's been thinking, and I know Mersh and I, we, and Virgie too, because, you know, he's around all the time. Guys, we've been talking on fair for how long? Like, what are the Opsters thought on Alex Jones? That's all I can What does about. Greg Opie Hughes think of this situation? I mean, it's honestly, it's what we were saying um, pretty much, like, during the whole Alex Jones trial. Royce and I were saying, like, you know, I'd really like to hear Opie's take. He's been largely silent. Radio silent. Opie went radio silent on us, and, you know, that really worried me. So, finally, Opie is breaking the radio silence. Um, do you... What do you side you think he's going to fall on? I always thought Alex Jones was just a piece of crap. I really did. And he was on our... Do you know how many people that work for you thought the same thing about you, Opster? Yeah. Our show uh, a bunch back in the day, and I thought it was pretty obvious that he was just full of crap. Wait, 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 wait. Back, 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 back. back in the day, and I thought it was just a piece of crap. I really did. And he was on our show uh, a bunch back in the day. But if you but said, why would you have such a piece of shit on your show? Yeah. When's the last time Alex Jones was on Opie and Anthony? That's what I want to know, and I have a reason for asking that. Um, Alex Jones, Opie, and I don't even really remember Alex Jones' appearances on that show. Me neither. Uh, okay, so the last time Opie, uh, uh, Opie had Alex Jones on his show, I guess, sure, 2006. No, actually, and there's this is even worse, and I'll explain why. He was on uh, May 17th, 2013. That is two years after he made the controversial, well, year and a half after he made the controversial Sandy Hook remarks that are gross and disgusting, as you would say, right? Oak and Star? I'm willing to bet he probably even said some of that shit on your show at the time. I am wondering that if you were to go back, and unfortunately, look, I don't have any of this time stamped because, you know, I just, I did it, but I, I think here. And my buddy was talking to me. Because I, they were doing a little, you know, making me wipe this when they came show. over to make sure Bin Laden wasn't in my underwear. Okay. And I had my boot, like, maybe an inch over the line. Because I'd been sitting there about three minutes waiting. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll see you over there. Okay, get coffee. All right. Get over the line. Hey, I'm like, hey, buddy, how about you say, please? I didn't sign up, uh, you know, for drill sergeant in the Marine Corps. And, again, where I live in Austin, Texas, they now have GSA on the freaking highways. Just type GSA in downtown Austin. They now have, I went to the Kite Festival with my kids. That's really racist. And, and <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> Very funny, Jim. God, God damn remember it. Remember when they didn't hate being there all the they time? They were fun, yeah. <laughs> I've never said Jim Norton wasn't funny, by the way. No, me neither. He's not <laughs> exactly. funny now. He used to be yeah, hilarious. He used to be very funny. And, and, and I went out there, and they had National Guard searching people. But, but again, real bombers are going to bomb you. They had 400 National Guard, thousands of police, sure. checkpoints everywhere. And He's talking about, in this clip, the Boston bombing marathon, calling it a conspiracy theory, too. So not only Opster, did you have Alex Jones on your show after the Sandy Hook comments, but he's on your show talking about how the Boston Marathon may have also been faked or a no, psyop. I got to agree here, though. He's got a point. I mean, Alex really is just an absolute piece of shit. Like, you remember the time that Alex Jones got in trouble because he was filming one of his employees taking a shit? No, I don't remember he was that. play that for other employees? No. And they were all laughing at it? Yeah. It yeah. was Harrison. <laughs> Or, like, remember the time Alex Jones stomped on a homeless man's cake and humiliated him right in the middle of fucking 42nd no. Street in Manhattan? That was Harrison's lunch. Uh, why does it keep happening? I don't know. Stand up for yourself. Do you think Alex treats Harrison the way Opie treated every human being ever? <laughs> the planet, yeah. And I thought it was pretty well, obvious. Opie doesn't treat him like he treated Steve Carlisi. Jesus, I like Harrison. Oof. That he was just full of crap. Um, is he entertaining? Of course he is. By the way, can I what? can I just say something? Because yeah. Dude Gulag, I don't want him to be mistaken. He said the cake stomp was funny. I laughed. Oh, this cake stomp's Let hilarious. I laughed. I mean, like looking back, I've watched it enough times, so it's not as funny now. 
but like the first time I watched that I li- live, I listened live to that. I remember fucking, live listening to that. I didn't listen live. I I would watch listen to the replay, but I saw the clip on YouTube, and I fucking my ghost almost left my body. That was one I of the funniest. So Things Please understand, world. I'm not saying it wasn't funny. What I'm saying is when Opie starts throwing around, oh, I always knew that guy was a piece of shit. Like, you can do something, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you can know somebody who's a piece of shit, and he'll go do a piece of shit thing, right. and you're still going to laugh. I still laugh to this day thinking about a buddy of mine who wailed a fat girl in the face with a fucking red dodgeball in our living room in North Carolina, in a small living room, where it went bink and then, like, hit other things, too. But it was the fu- like. To this day, one of the worst, most heinous things I've ever seen somebody do to a bitch. And he gave her no warning. He just did out of nowhere. I still think back to that sometimes, just like the cake stomp, and I giggle. It's funny, but you also can't go, you know, other people are just such pieces of shit. It's like, come on, man. You stomped on a homeless man's cake. <laughs> But he put those families through uh, from the Sandy Hook thing. You had him on your show after that, though, Dopey. See, that's the point. Do not. We already. We, dude, I didn't even set this up in a way to do a gotcha on him. But it just makes no it sense. It just. I, I look. I had to Google it. I'm like. But this, that's why, as soon as I, I was I, like, I, he had what? to have been on their show, right? You were on their show after he said these things. So, Opster, why don't you fucking say, hey, man, what you said was disgusting? I'm telling you in that episode, he never calls him out for it. The Sandy Hook thing, I can tell you that. I, I think he's like, just I compare it to garbage. this, right? Like, if there's people that, like, I think are actually pieces of garbage, mm-hmm. you know, people like on the internet that, like, actually engage in, like, life ruination levels of shit with people. And, you know what I mean? Just those people that, mm-hmm. like, you know, there's this message boards. It's just certain people that are kind of scummy. If I think you're a piece of shit, I'm not going to have you on the show. You know, if if you're like, hey, let's or have, he'll be our producer. <laughs> hey, let's have somebody on, um, and then we go, yeah, but isn't that the guy that like, you yeah, know, whatever, did asshole. this to this person? Then we go, no, I'm not gonna have the fucking piece of shit on here. If right. you're if you're a piece, like to me, you're saying piece of shit, which means I think if we agree, if we think somebody's a piece of shit, they won't be on the show. Yet. I have them on the show. You're a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. <clears throat> So uh, he had a tough day in court yesterday, and I just simply tweeted, Alex Jones is garbage. The amount of people. Nice. Good tweet. Solid good. tweet. That was good, bro. That was good, bro. Bro, that was a Solid good tweet. tweet. Bro, hey, write that one down, Virgie. That was a good tweet. That might be in the top Twitter contender of the year, okay? Thank you. People that are sitting there trying to defend Alex Jones. I'm like, Get, go, go away. Go somewhere else. Where? These- where should I go? I mean, I guess to my beach house. That's where he's at. I, I don't know. I'm not in the Hamptons, so I'm I'm already somewhere else. I am somewhere else. Poor I'm families. in a place with warmer, nicer beaches that cost a third as much to live. Mm-hmm. Opie, man. Opie now is so desperate, bro. He's 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 making thumbnails for his own video. I'll show you them in a second. I got a thumbnail maker. Because he edited this video, like, a cl- he's clipping videos of himself, but not clipping videos of, like, a show like we're doing. Like, we're doing a show, and we clip segments of, an, of a, you know, a thing that we did. He's just clipping videos of, like, a vlog that, like, moms do on Facebook. Yeah. What are you doing? Arguing with every X O and A fan you can think of, which, by the way, is your demographic. And he's so sick of bringing up Anthony and stuff, but every clip of him is him talking about Anthony. Bro, you're the one clipping it. You know that's what gets the most views. Mm-hmm. I mean, we get more views when we clip talking about you than you do, but still, it's pretty good. Yeah, Opie. I mean, like I've seen clips popping up in my timeline, like, mm-hmm. and I got I'll give Compound credit. Uh, they've been better with the clipping. Yes, they have. Getting his sh- like you know he used to Anthony used to be like no oh, it's all paywalled and people mm-hmm. finally probably E Rock probably finally drilled it into his head like you need clips like people are gonna find clips and yeah. go oh I watch the show plus you'll make money on the clips you know? exactly so it's one of those things where he's gotten better at that so that shit's starting to show up in my timeline and Opie I'm no fucking I'm not a big Ant fan but I will say this like. They're not talking about you. All the clips of Ant are like him with like Gavin or him with Kevin. Uh, we Brennan watched one off air the other or, day. Yeah, yeah. Like, where it's just them doing their thing, talking about stuff, and you're here just still going. I, I don't even care about it anymore. Why is everyone bothering me? It's like because you're live. Yeah, because you're live. Why does everyone keep bringing up Opie and Anthony? Because you've done one interesting thing in your entire life. That's why. If I get Charles fucking Barkley on this show and he gets starts getting offended because I keep asking him questions about basketball, then what the fuck is Charles Barkley doing on this show? 
Yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, what does he want? Did you think I was bringing you here to talk to about? Talk about Vic Henley. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only Vic Henley yeah. questions. He's in Sandy Hook, you know. They had to deal with some horrific crap. And then you got Alex Jones trying to tell the world that it never happened. I mean, he's just pure garbage. Can you imagine all that other crap they're going to find on Alex Jones's phone? No kidding, man. One what of the big. Uh, what is, here's the thing. He dude. is so uninformed. He dude. is also really stupid. There are so many of these lefty retards on Twitter. What an idiot. That are like, is. Alex Jones is fucking done. The shit they have in his text. And I'm like, what do you think Alex really does, though? Right? Yeah, I know. Like, what do you, what's, like, he doesn't strike me as somebody who's really got anything, like, where they're going to go, whoa, smoking fucking gun. I don't think this, you're going to find text messages of him on January 6th being like, soldiers, let's march down there and start killing people, right? Like, that's not, what do they think's on his phone? I'll tell you what they are. Hey, Daria, when's my next interview? <laughs> exactly. That's what's happening. I got to do that flagrant show in them ROTC boys, right? Yeah, exactly. Right, I got to go. Look, I got to go change my tie. I, got, I was eating a chili dog earlier. I got some chili on my tie. That's literally going to be the most embarrassing text. The January 6th committee has a text message with our names in it because of this, which is fucking great to me. Think about it. Finally part of the National Archives. Well, that well, is, well. That is if Trump doesn't steal the pages that have our names on them. <laughs> <laughs> and it all comes full circle. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, fuck. That was like some lefty Twitter joke. It was so bad. <laughs> Is that your opening monologue tonight, Samantha B? <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to do 15 minutes on Dark Brandon. <sighs> oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> victims of the Sandy Hook, uh, the victims' uh, fathers of the Sandy Hook uh, massacre basically said Alex Jones made his life a living hell. Like, he had to deal with that tragedy. Then he had to deal with all these people coming after him because Alex Jones is trying to start a conspiracy that the whole thing wait did you see who one of the questions was from footer what's up footer hey can i ask can i ask a question now yeah he has a band who put you through more alex jones mm -hmm. or adam lanza <sighs> i mean i feel like it, you're almost you are actually almost diminishing your own child's death in this lawsuit because you're going like, yeah, Alex Jones started talking about me and I started getting a bunch of prank phone calls and faxes and stuff. And it was the worst thing to happen <laughs> ever in my life. Right? I, I, like, what's, it's, it's, I would argue that the worst thing ever happened was, you know, the murders. The murders of your babies. Yeah. And I mean, that's what I'm saying. So they want... So really, they're just making Alex Jones pay for the Sandy Hook. They, they, so <laughs> Adam Lance didn't have any money. <laughs> so the feds probably let it happen. And now they're making Alex Jones pick up the tab. Look, you Maybe guys we are can trying talk to all the, You guys can talk all the shit you want, but one of those fathers of one of those kids could still laugh before the Alex Jones shit. His child died, and he could still laugh That's until true. Alex Jones came along. <laughs> that the whole thing didn't happen. And so, you know, it got the best of me yesterday, and I just I just tweeted Alex Jones' is garbage. Good job. I like that he got the best of me. Like, like it made international shock. Hold on. Let me go to I got to look at it now. I, oh, I can't. He blocked me. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have another one. I, 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 incognito it is. Were you making a lot of filming people in the bathroom jokes, Adam? <clears throat> I don't remember why he blocked me. Um, I really, I probably made fun of him. I, I don't remember. I'm trying to find his Alex Jones' is garbage because I because apparently, it, hey, by the way, if we mm. clip this taper or whoever, if this ever gets clipped, start making sure that you add at OP Radio to the titles of the YouTube videos so that every time somebody tweets it out, the title will tag him and it'll annoy the piss out of him. I make the title so I can make that happen. <laughs> you got it. I can Fuck make it. Fuck you, OP. That's so yeah. incredibly based. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. I found it. Alex Jones is garbage. Okay, so hear me out. He made that statement, and he goes, wow, people are flipping out over this. Woo. How many retweets do you think it has? Up. Oh. I'm going to go with uh, uh, 
14 retweets. Okay. 31 likes. Three retweets. What? Yeah. There's 139 likes, three retweets, and 31 comments. The comments are... Well, so he got ratioed. Bro is committed to the bit. Uh... Wasn't there just... Is there anybody more of a loser than people that still, like, like, shoot the shit back and forth with the opster? Somebody just wrote, must stay relevant. Oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even begrudge people that, like, still are involved with, like, Jim and Sam or tweet mm-hmm. at them or right, tweet right. at Ant. Right, because at least those guys could get you maybe a couple tickets to a fucking show. Or a fucking T-shirt you'd be willing to wear, right? But like, who's still reaching out to the Opster? Like, yeah, bro, that was one of my favorite bands too. All his replies are always these like boring, just generic replies, or doing inside jokes about ONA that he doesn't want to talk about anymore. Yeah, it's like, hey guys, you know, uh, uh, I was like uh, doing a linger longer, and it's uh, goddamn man, kill me. And said that you were doing. I don't care. I don't. I, I. I literally stopped reading your comments. I don't, I don't care. care. <laughs> Opie, you <laughs> all you hater. do is care. The fuck what Ant uh, says. He is. He cares enough to clip his own things and all YouTube's rule about the first thirty seconds. You can't stay fuck. So he, so he bleeped it. it. Yeah. Yeah. So obsessed with me. I didn't. What do is anything it? Well, how much money does he think guy? he's going to make on a one minute and thirty four second clip that five thousand people watched? That ain't going to pay for your fucking Hamptons house, buddy. I did basic regular. Oh, uh, six dollars probably. Six dollars, I think that's what it is. Or that happens when you're in a relationship with somebody for so long. Just basic crap. I will, I will cop to that. But to the point where he obsesses and tries to. Not- so he will cop to that he's the bad person on the in the relationship. But now he's saying, but I wasn't that bad. Oh, Knock okay. me down day after day. I didn't do nothing to that guy. I didn't that, do shit. I didn't fucking break that, shit. That crap. In the end, he blew up the Opie and Anthony show. In the end, he couldn't help it with his racist crap. He had to spew that garbage every single day. Opie, if I remember correctly, you made some pretty racist jokes, too. Yeah, you used to. See, here's the problem, Opster. Mersh and I remember the old ONA stuff. All right, you, this whatever. You Mersh, were the tryhard. You were the. You took the words oh, out of okay, my. Sorry, you, yeah, what, no, 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 I'm fine. You dickheads. That's exactly what I'm saying. You were the guy that always went too far. You're the guy that just Mersh brought up. Go, hey, you know what's funny? Stomping on a homeless guy's cake, which was funny. Breaking but, people's things, yeah. throwing people's gifts that, that they brought into the studio for yeah. you, and like just like yes. He it, put baby shit on his face, <laughs> bro. He's a tryhard. Day in and day out, behind the scenes, they weren't happy about it. Behind the scenes, they saw that our audience was uh, dwindling. Behind the scenes, none of your producers liked you, and the ones that stayed loyal to you, fuck them because you're a piece of shit, Opie, and that's the truth. Yeah. How's Steve C doing? And he just went all in, blew off all the stuff that was great about him. And that would be just a really funny guy that didn't take things too seriously. He blew all that off. To do more and E. Burke's more. trying to get the... I'm looking at the chat thing. E. Burke's trying to get those OP points. Trying to get those... You all have nothing else better to do at 8 in the morning than harass someone you used to like. Pathetic. Or racist garbage and gun talk. And then he couldn't help himself. He goes on a, a massive racist rant. And then the company fires him. Fires him. He blew up the OP and Anthony show. Don't get that wrong ever. But... Opie, who are you talking to? Opie, you're one of the few guys I've ever seen whose broadcast partner gets fired who didn't leave with their broadcast partner. Yeah. And any any fucking grade school level lawyer mm-hmm. could have gotten you broke, could have went in and sued them and gotten your contract nulled mm-hmm. and been like, look, you can't, you can't expect to keep my client without his fucking lifetime broadcasting partner. Good he point. would like to be released from his contract, please. And, like, you would go off and keep making that money. You're upset because you fucking tried to... You tried to do all that fucking podcast, Westwood One. You needed to feel like 
you're you were signed to a deal. Like you still have that old fucking show business mentality of like, I need to be signed to a deal. That's and then that's you didn't make anybody any money. Your show sucked and nobody cared. And then you just fucking withered away. And to his credit, built up a, at least something. Right. And people got into it. He he got like he didn't take a like a year long break after embarrassing himself and making everybody hate him. And then fucking come back a year later and just try to do a Westwood One di- Diner podcast where all you can hear is clinking glasses and shit. Like, he actually tried to do something. So he came right back out. People, right away, he struck when the iron was hot. So people wanted to support him, and they all signed up for his shit. Every one of these people, hope he moved on to some better shit. Why is E-Rock working for Anthony? If, Very good if point. If Anthony's the toxic, worst one to deal with. That's a good point. Right? Why are a lot of former people working with him? That's a really good point. And I don't watch Compound now, and I'm sure he still busts Erock's chops and fucking whatever. Really. But I guarantee you, Erock gets it a lot lighter now than he did back in the fucking peanut butter hat cinnamon challenge, fucking with him on his fucking uh, honeymoon yeah. uh, years of being like, oh no, do we not have any prep? Let's torture Erock for four hours. Like I'm sure now he's just he probably makes less money, but he's probably less stressed out. He probably gets his balls lightheartedly broken the way kind of friends do with each the other. The way old friends instead, do. Yeah, yeah, instead of like when you'd be like, "Hey, what can we do today?" To like really fucking get a laugh and like ruin this guy's life. It'd be funny, huh? 